My name is Abba Gamal. I'm a professor at the University of Maryland, Department of Mathematics. My research is based on using mathematical approaches and theories and methodologies to understand how human diseases spread in populations and how to effectively control them. So this is our initial distribution. You can see everybody is healthy except for there is this one sick person. We work together with epidemiologists, with biologists, to understand the disease transmission process. And once we've done that, we've put together the whole process in terms of mathematical equations, mathematical models, like the type you see here. We've done a lot of work on COVID. We've done a lot of work on other respiratory pathogens and other types of diseases. We work together with our students and our postdoctoral fellows to design mathematical models for understanding how COVID spread in populations. So we're specifically looking at the potential impact of uh, intervention strategies such as the use of face masks, uh, social distancing, and when vaccines became available. So we showed the impact of masking in reducing the severity of the disease, in reducing the number of new cases, mortality. We could have saved a lot more lives stockpiling those masks and making them available right from the beginning would have suppressed the epidemic. We would not have had the kind of burden we suffered. Another major part of what we study also, diseases caused by vectors in general, by insects. Malaria, for example, each year kills about 600,000, 700,000 people. And modeling is at the heart of that, using mathematics and statistics and computation is at the heart of all of this effort, global effort to eradicate malaria. Can we still eradicate malaria using insecticide-based intervention? Existing one despite the resistance, despite climate change. And the other part is, well, if all this will not work, can we then use other biological means to achieve the objective of eradicating malaria? Using mathematics to understand diseases in populations is very personal to me because and also personal to, to many of my collaborators and students and postdocs because we know people who suffer those diseases. It's hugely important to make a difference. If we can save someone's life, if we can save someone from suffering from severe disease, using what we do, for me, you know, mission accomplished.